All right, today we're gonna make a homemade mouse trap. Um, basic uh, tools around the house you'll find, such as a bucket, five gallon bucket, a aluminum can, peanut butter, wire hanger, like wire gloves hanger or something like that, a drill, and a drill bit. Following these simple steps, you could make a simple mouse trap that will work. Bring the can. Thanks. Thanks, bud. All right. So for this uh, part of the uh, mouse trap, you're gonna need a aluminum can, wire hanger. You can cut this wire hanger to whatever length that you prefer. Um, I just did about inch and a half, two inches on both sides, extra, whatnot. Um, using the wire hanger. And what I did was I also lubed this with oil so that when you drill the holes in this can. You know, you drill a hole on both sides, both sides, and then when you slide it onto the um, wire hanger, when it gets on there, it's got a little lube to, you know, let it spin. Like, yeah, that. <laughs> anyway, carrying on. All right, so next step, you will take that wire hanger that you cut the length, you will figure out where you want this wire hanger to be positioned across this bucket, all right? So mine are already drilled to there and there. So it's straight across. Whew, like that. All right. Next thing you do, thank you, sir. For the next step, we need Peter Pan. I'm telling you, Peter Pan Crunchy has worked three times for me already. So, peanut butter, Peter Pan Crunchy works. Um, with that being said, you're gonna take the wire hanger that you have, you're gonna take the peanut butter. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> you're gonna take the peanut butter, open the peanut butter, peanut butter. Okay, then you're gonna take your can, the can that I just dropped, loaded in peanut butter. You know, load it with peanut butter. I mean, that's a little excessive, but uh, it works. So, after that, take your can. And go in. It's not gonna work out very well. Uh oh. Bear with me. Can't seem to find the hole. Uh oh. There it is. Ta da. Okay, here. So. Now you have a peanut butter can. And you know the problem I just discovered that I uh, messed up on. Didn't put the rod through first. But anyway, you can still carry on as you were. Put the wire hanger in the hole. Trying to get it in the hole. Ta da! Uh oh. Okay. Ta da! So look. Now you have peanut butter on your aluminum can. You're sliding and spinning a uh, wire hanger. And then, look at, well, look at that. Look at that. No, no, doggy, no. <laughs> All right, so now, with that being said, you basically take a two by four, or whatever your likings are, and uh, you create a ramp for this here little critter. Well, all right, so I'm gonna teach you guys a trick or two. So, yeah. The rat's gonna smell the peanut butter on the can, but like the ramp, it needs, it needs, it just needs peanut butter. It just needs peanut butter. 
and you know, you got you got a little rat or a little mouse. You you don't uh, don't drop it like that, but you you don't you don't really care. You just wanna just wanna mm, just, uh, oh on it. You you wanna make sure he knows that there's something good at the top of this here trail. Like you just you just want him to know. Like, but here's the catch. You can't leave any peanut butter on this thing. You just gotta smother it in on the board. So it's just got a scent for it. Yeah. And then you just And you just wanna you just wanna have a trail just so he can just have some uh, mm. And then he'll go to the top and say, I smell more. And then, then he gets to the top and he goes on the bucket. And he's like, ooh, gotta have it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then yeah, ta-da. And results of a mouse trap. Okay, so next, you got to have something for the mouse to fall into when uh, it falls into the trap. You can do a live trap and allow the mouse to uh, fall into the trap and just be alive when you find them. Or you can do a trap with water. Followed by soap. Add some soap to it. And ta da.